Norseman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. <sighs> now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern. Their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. Uh, how very Sanbriquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet, in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. Easy peasy. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. I thought he was done talking. My bad. Alrighty then, we have a destination. Let's go grab this last side quest and then go talk to these dumb kids in the atrium. It seems the hideaway is Defeat a blueback wyvern. I can do that. Up front, welcome to stream. Chaos is loving the game. This game is amazing. Goots has a quest for us. What am I gonna do? How are you feeling about the sky? I reckon these skies are enough to give anyone the collie wobbles? Lone Wolf, explain the British right now. How were you people allowed to make these words? But I'm not gonna sit around hanging my head and twiddling my thumbs. Did enough of that back in Twin Side while you were busy fighting that horrible dragon and then that even horribler one. But no more. From now on, I'm gonna do what you lot do and properly pull my finger out, no matter how much my knees are knocking. Pull my finger out? <laughs> Can't have Nan and Blackthorn thinking I'm a great big wet blanket now, can I? You you call Karen Nan. Or is she like your grandmother or mother or something? I don't remember the game ever telling me if there's a relation between you two familial-wise. So don't you worry about me. You just stick to what you do best, saving the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this side quest about? Is everything all right, Goose? You seem more discomposed than usual. I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. <sighs> there was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like... Said he'd heard some rotten rumours about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Uh, yes, she would. Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. -na -ba -ba -na -na -na. All right, I really need one of these quests to give me like 400 AP so that we can get Giga Flare because I want Giga Flare. Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then, both in and out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What ex 
exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today, raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. Uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I... I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. Well, that was a fun conversation, wasn't it? Ayo, hey, Goots! She said she's gonna kill you. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded. And that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. Along with some other things that... Made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me, you'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <sighs> I suppose it is. Chat, you're right. Clive can never be an undercover agent. This dude can't act or really lie, for that matter, to save his life. It's just not in his DNA. We're all gonna die. Oh, we're all gonna die. That sucks. No one told me about that. I say we should just... Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh. And just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? Why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss Mididol said, The best way I see how some it worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well then, your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh... About that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom, then, then, um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? All right. 
Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Which part will you inspect? Ah, the arm. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! Kaka! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. Usually your hands hold things? Like, sometimes your arms hold things, but usually your hands, though? These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. Why are we giving these kids a lesson on how to put a set of scales together? This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minadol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... Like a record? That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see, it's not so difficult. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Yeah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Mididol's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. Air! What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Mididol and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> You hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Airs, not hairs. I hate these kids. Hey, look. We never used the cogwheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? <laughs> Oh man, Clive definitely forgot. Just straight up. I will say, I love this game, it's fantastic. 
Other than that little in bit where they were like, wait, Sid didn't use the gear being really funny. That was maybe the most boring moment of this entire game. Having to sit through him explaining scales to a bunch of, like, eight-year-olds. I definitely could have gone without it. Or at least with it being, like, way shorter. Forgetting the gear at the end was pretty funny, though. Hey, Shirley, you might want to double check my work on that scale. There's a storm coming, Sid. Will there be? Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. All right, there we go. Quest complete. Fork over my renown. Idiot. No AP. I didn't really expect AP from that one, to be honest. Yo, 25 more renown, though. It's adding up. All right, now we can go do the more fun side quests. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go look at the, um... Oh, hello. Was oh, the game not gonna let me go to the other places right now? Oh, it's not. Okay, well, we have to go to the Echoes right now, so let's go there first. Our other side quests are li uh, locked off, rather, words. Yo, the ultimate trio plus Torgal. I love it. Cloak and Dagger. Ah, oh, good Slay the Spire card. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Little intense, Clive. Just a little intense. Oh, this connects to the Valkyrie Desert there. Okay, I see, I see. And we have another side quest coming up way over here. Uh, can I fast travel to... It looks like I can fast travel to other locations. I want to do these side quests first. Before we continue the main story. Because we have a lot of side questing to do. And I want to knock that out. So let's go to Northreach. To deal with this wyvern and whatnot, straight north of Northreach, let's go. Hello. The Holy Empire. There were ghosts at the gates, not days Oh no, not ghosts. Danny Phantom probably handled it, dude. Don't worry so much. 
So we're going to help at Canver, which are like the free cities right now on the edge of the Crystalline Dominion and Dalmechia from what I saw. And then, I mean, our next big target has to be Walud at this point, right? To the meadows, then. Yeah, to the meadows then, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be Walud. They're the only ones with the Mother Crystal left. And as we've seen, the king is like controlled by Ultima to some extent. All right, Silver Lobos, you want to go? Bring it on, idiots. Get Kakad. I did this wrong. Satellites first. Then this. Stay back. All of you stay away. Come at me, Silver Lobos. Come on, buds. Come on. Way too early. Come on. Come on, then. Get laser beams. I'll just shoot you instead, then. Dude, the charge shot on this is pretty sick, though. Look at that damage. Yeah, stay down. Mega Flare! Bum, bum, bum. All right, I didn't realize that there were so few enemies. I thought there were more than that. I do love that the Mega Flare just keeps going. Just falling from the heavens. I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Oh, uh, probably right there. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. A blue back wyvern. It even says the name on it. Hello. This must be our wyvern. All right. Let's get this over with. Oh, I was too early. Yo, get him, Joshua. More firepower. Shoot at me. I was way too late on pressing square. Much better. 